Donald Trump is having an absolutely terrible month and his finances are no exception, especially his campaign finances. FEC filings released late Monday indicate that Trump raised $3.1 million in May, which I checked, that's actually less than Jimmy Dore's Indiegogo raised. No, I'm totally <laughs> joking. Uh, he entered June with, that should say, I believe, $1.3 million on hand. Uh, compare that with the $27 million Hillary Clinton raised and the $42 million she had in the bank entering this month. But if you wanted to, you could compare it to other things. Uh, one of the, the memes I saw being passed around was that it was literally less than the Veronica Mars movie raised, uh, their Kickstarter, yeah. and it's less than some congressional candidates raised in the same period. And really we're not talking about Senate in candidates in big states. Congress. We're talking about House candidates. Yeah. Okay, that's... They're, they're basically animals. <laughs> they still <laughs> raised more. Yeah. Uh, they were raising the woods and they still raised more. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, and yes, Think Progress did have a typo there. Everybody else is reporting about $1.29 million he's got yeah. left on his tiny little hands uh, for Donald Trump. And uh, so he keeps bragging about it. He's a billionaire, he's got $10 billion, and this is no problem for him. Uh, but the reality is, if you've got it, this would be the time to put it in your campaign account because Hillary Clinton, your opponent, it appears, is spending money significantly, raising money significantly, and yeah. also spending it. Uh, they're already in the swing states. They're already advertising. They're already laying the groundwork. She has ten times the staff that Donald Trump has. So I know that Donald Trump is new to the idea of get out the vote and a ground campaign, and he doesn't know what those things are. Mm -hmm. But uh, they exist. He should look into them. But he is a notoriously incompetent manager. Yeah. <laughs> so he is, uh, you know. Uh, exhibiting his incompetence here in his own campaign. Yeah, she's uh, she's spent enough in some of the swing states that CNN has already declared she's won them, actually. <laughs> and so he should get moving. Uh, so look, we've got some quotes from Trump and some of his surrogates in the media where they obviously don't think that this is an issue. Nothing is an issue if you're Donald Trump. Um, but first of all, I know some people, there was this uh, hashtag Trump so poor going around that I mm. got involved with and it did, did, did okay. Uh, and then I got, I got claims that I was uh, mocking poor people. Shut up. That's the stupidest. That's the, I grew up poor. God damn it. Um, <laughs> when, mocking when, poor people because I said that he had small hands. God, people can be so stupid online. I have, we're the libs, okay? I have empathy for poor people. I grew up in Bridgeport, Connecticut amongst very poor people. And, and you know, if Donald but, Trump comes out and says, you know what, guys, you were right. <laughs> not only am I not a billionaire, I'm downright broke as I've been four times in my life because I'm a loser. Yeah. And I don't know how to, and I say loser, because he started out with $40 yes. million. He literally lost it. <laughs> yes. Uh, and and you're, I'm poor, so please lay off now. In fact, can you help me? Well, being the libs that we are, we'd make sure he got government assistance. No, I'd laugh at him. And, and all that. So it, but, don't, yeah. don't think that, hey, we should have sympathy for Donald Trump yeah. because he's now among the poor. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's not how it works. No, not at all. And also, uh, there were some people on Twitter who were, who were saying, well, this seems hypocritical of TYT. You guys think that there should be radical campaign finance reform, and yet you're getting down on Trump for not raising money, and yet you're comparing him to Hillary, who raised a lot of money. I believe there's some hypocrisy there. That's because you haven't thought about it long enough. Uh, we can Damn. both mock him for not raising much money and also attack Hillary Clinton for raising as much money as she did. I have a feeling that those $41 million didn't largely come from young people and just regular Americans chipping in a couple bucks. It's probably raised uh, through big donations from rich individuals, corporations, and all of that. So she's got her own problems, and the system does need to be fixed. But Donald Trump isn't interested in changing that system. Donald Trump has already announced that he intends to raise money in the traditional way, the way every Republican candidate for the presidency ever has, by appealing to wealthy people and corporations. Now, when you acknowledge that, he is now a loser because he says he's going to use this system. He says he understands money better than anyone. And inside of that system that he has embraced, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And so there's no hypocrisy there. I can mock everybody and I will. Okay. So let me be clear about this. If uh, Just to double down on what, what John was saying. Uh, if Trump had said, he kind of said it in the primaries. Very early on once. Yes. And, well, there I go, okay, if you're not. Uh, going to beg donors for money and you're going outside that system, I applaud that. I don't applaud anything else Donald Trump is doing, mm -hmm. but I applaud that. But now he has avowedly said, no, I'm going to raise money. We, In fact, he bragged about how his, he had uh, raised the most amount of money just three weeks ago, most amount of money that any candidate had ever raised. 
I mean, the guy is an unbelievable, notorious liar. Mm -hmm. What an, a lie that's so easy to prove in this case because they're filings. You have to file with the government. Do you think he knew that they were going to have to do that? Yeah, but that's <laughs> probably because, not. Right, because he has, he lies about everything. So it's not like, hey, damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. If he says, I'm not going to take any money, we say, all right, congratulations on that front, right? Yeah. But if he says, yeah, I can't wait to get bribed and then can't get any bribes, that's doubly pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now, look, he is uh, he's going to be asked about this uh, because, unlike Hillary Clinton, he actually goes on the media and asks, uh, responds to these questions. He doesn't tell the truth, but he does go there. And so in this clip, you're going to see uh, those numbers that we've been discussing being thrown in his face, and here is his response. You understand money, the importance of money. It helps you mount a professional campaign, and it's a sign of whether people are supporting you. So how do you explain those lackluster results? Okay, let me just tell you this. I understand money better than anybody. I understand it far better than Hillary, and I'm way up on the economy when it comes to questions on the economy. But we have a, re a party that, I mean, I'm, I'm having more difficulty, frankly, with some of the people in the party than I have with the Democrats, because they're just, they don't want to come on. They will probably eventually come on. Honestly, if they don't, it's just fine. I can win it either way. I mean, I may be better off winning it the opposite way than the more traditional can you win way. It you know, at the end there, he accidentally says something that's true. Um, he, since he can't raise money, he's saying, oh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't have to. Maybe I win the opposite way. But, but if he actually took that seriously instead of being it like nana nana, mm. uh, uh, he, I think, would stand a better chance of winning yeah. if he said, you know what, I'm not taking any of the special interest money. I'm not taking the lobbyist money. I'm not taking the donor money. He isn't going to get that much anyway. If he tries to beat Hillary Clinton at that game, he will get crushed because mm -hmm. she has the establishment on her side. He does not. She but has he decades of those connections. Right, but if he goes in the opposite direction and goes, I'm not taking the money, she's corrupt. We know that works, right? That's what we've been predicting. <laughs> yes. That and was supposed to be his advantage. Yeah, and that is, her, that is clearly her Achilles heel. And if he pounces on that, that does have a, a chance of working better than a traditional campaign yeah. that he would run. So we should stop talking about it because he <laughs> might accidentally stumble upon a good strategy.